In my experience, there's no such thing as luck. I like this thing. I'm Robert from Spielberg Studios. And I'm sitting here in my studio and uh, want to talk actually about props. What are props? The formerly known as theatrical property. And they're just short props these days because they are used in film sets and they're used in theater, on stage, on screen. Actors use them. Actors use something like this. And that's what I'm going to talk about. I never prefer or like knives and guns in movies, but these are not real. They are just uh, plastic and uh, you got to know what material to use to make those. You can also uh, uh, print things on 3D printers these days and, and paint it. Like this is a compass. You can go into elaborate things. You can make something like this is a little... You know what that is, yeah. little thing I made for myself. Props, you don't have to make them always. They can also sometimes be purchased finished. This is not an ancient stone, this is custom made. And uh, I had a good contact once who made them for me, but they were not used on films, they were actually used in the Echo Lodge because we did not only uh, make props, we did theme fabrication. We were actually conceptual artists, so you got to know all the materials. You got to know what what plastic to use that this doesn't break or it's too hard. You got to know what how to make this one. It's it's actually sculpted first, then a silicone made mold is made, and then you pour upside down concrete into it. This is made of this really heavy concrete and then with a vibrator you vibrate the bubbles out and let it sit to dry. After that it get, gets painted to look aged like that. This a customer seen that in my actually house that I made little boxes and had them and they wanted to have them in their eco lodge and uh, we helped them build it. You find the eco lodge in um, what it's called in, in Five Boomerang Road, it's called Eco Studio Fellini or something like that. And uh, yeah, I'm talking about props. You can make them out of uh, plastic on a plastic printer, but that attracts probably uh, the low budget people. We did high budget things, we did all sorts of things. Uh, you can make things for a restaurant. This is um, crew only a sign for the door for the uh, ti Titanic. And um, here the same thing. You can uh, CNC route it out, make a wood piece, then you put that, build a box around it, pour silicone into it, let it dry. After you take that plug we call out and pour in this case it's fiberglass resin into it but the fiberglass resin would go to very hot you got to know what you're doing so yeah that's why I have a master class and I want to go through some things and show you how things are made fiberglass is mixed with Omnicar it is like talcum powder talcum powder actually is used as a glue it makes it more sticky and it doesn't run that's why I use Omni Omnicar you, you can use uh, flour you have in the kitchen uh, to make it thicker, that it doesn't overheat. It's, it's the proper thing is com called omniac, Omnicarb. And you mix that in and then you pour it into the mold and when it's hard you pull it out and then paint it. So that's one, one way of doing things. I, um, in my theme fabrication I did went into fine jewelry as well. This is just a plastic copy of the anniversary belt of Elvis Presley. And things like this are made in fast cast. So that's A and B, you buy, probably buy them at four liters, two, two you mix uh, one to one. Mix it up quickly, you gotta have everything prepared and then pour it into the mold and it sets in about five minutes. You don't have much time, five minutes, 10 minutes. So in a, in 20 minutes 
it's all set and hard and you have a, a, a piece already that's how it's done in the movies and um, this these things I, I can't uh, sell them there's copyright on them so I and uh, the mold actually I sold the mold mold to the copyright owner and I cannot reproduce this and I won't do that I honor that even movie props the original movie props I can't show you any because everybody signs an agreement that they don't release them show them on TV or camera or on a movie and so I can only show you the things I personally make this is uh, you can buy this finished product in shops you used to I don't know if you still can get them I bought them I, I met this fellow in the markets actually and uh, I show you what else I do. I did uh, repair Mo Marilyn Monroe. I had some repair jobs. I worked from acreage in the past and uh, we had a nice workshop set up, but they are very expensive. One common thing is polystyrene. And that's another thing I'm going to show you how to work with polystyrene. That's the most common, cheapest product. Things are made on a big scale. Then there's also poor, poor form. And many many other ways and techniques you can learn from this master class and uh, I, I just have an intro video now and see on your response if you want me to keep going and show you how things are done or you think it's already enough out there props and fingering Star Wars stormtrooper if I rub it a bit, it becomes shiny again. Then I prepare them and cast them in silver. I used to do that. There's no money in it anymore. Or phantom rings. I can make that the proper way. This could be another video, actually. So I looked at this, at my video, and found that it hasn't got a complete story in it. It's because it's easy. To make this silicon mold cast something and reproduce things and later on when the heart you flex it out and you have a finished product this is for mass producing or making a few you can even work with 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 fiberglass in here make it strong in the movies they don't they use fast cast and fiberglass depending if they want to attach things to it extend it make it longer make it stronger whatever they're going to do with it and uh, the challenge is really how to make the original that's probably what's, what was missing so far so first we start off with the designs of those letters i got them designed and then we send them off to uh, they're called metal graphic plates and they send you a flat piece of metal and etched so you can have it in reverse mirrored or in the positive in this case we have a the, the 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 positive because out of that we make a mold it costs a lot of weight in it once it's in silver one and a half kilo with the belt buckles on the side and then what we do next the 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 um, belt buckle it took about six months to construct and the customer paid seven thousand australian dollars for this to make this so that's the, the and, and because it's very labor labor intensive we start with the magnesium plate i have a little list here then we do the silicon mold then out of that we make wax out of that we send it to a caster because it is too big for me to cast here i had to send it off to sydney he now moved to victoria and does something else i don't know if you get a caster who can make things that big the customer actually who asked me to do this was looking for five years for someone who can make it to him. He went from jeweler to jeweler and never found anyone. And then uh, he got on to us when I was in a theme fabrication and we made it for him. I just learned this three months prior before I made this. I just learned this. I'm a quick learner. It took me three months to learn jewelry making. And um, what the, what's the next step? send it to a caster then the stars where i cut them out when the when it comes back cast it in silver i cut out the stars i these eagles i hand sculpted them in wax 
casted them, then soldered them on. I twisted wire around for the edge and soldered that on. All the hooks on the back to have it hooking onto something I soldered on afterwards. Yeah, after that I sent it to the engraver to Sydney and the diamond setter that was luckily one and the same person engraving and diamond setting. We didn't have real diamonds then, we had just fake ones for this. Ciconias and red stones are on that and then we got it back and got it gold plated here on the gold course. The original, this is just a painted plastic copy. studio with a green screen and in post-production so you don't need all these props for everything this is a prop here you carry but the rest is all done in different ways with green screen post-production good videos put together with all of that The subconscious mind doesn't think 3D, it absorbs the information and thinks that event is real. And that's why I strongly uh, uh, address this not to make movies with guns and shooting. Over and out, thank you.